In this workbook, I have two different sheets with data, and I'd like to create a pivot table that combines the data and shows the results. So here I have the East sheet, and there's a similar one for the West. They have most of the same columns, but this one has tax for the West, and in the East there's a column that shows the manager name. I've added a column that shows the region name because we're not going to be able to pick up the name if it's just on the sheet tab. We want to make sure that's part of the information that we've collected. And then when we combine things, we'd be able to see the results per region. To combine the data from these two tables, I'm going to use Power Query. And that's an add-in from Microsoft that you can download from their website if you have one of the versions of Excel that supports it. So going across the ribbon here to Power Query, I could get external data or Excel data from a table. And these are both set up as named tables. I'll select my table here, click From Table. So I'll close and load that. And there we can see a copy of that table. The cell in here is selected, so we're seeing a Query tab here. I want to get out of this query. Now I want to select the information from the East Sheet. So I'll go back to East and click at the top to select that table. I click twice. Then going to Power Query from Table. And it's showing my East table. So I'll click Close and Load. So I just brought in all the data from both tables. Now it's on Sheet 1, shows the West, and Sheet 2 shows the East. I'd like to combine these, so I'm going to get out of this table, go back to Power Query, and Append. So it's going to let me combine some information. For the primary table, I'll select Table 2, and that's the West. And the one to append to that, I'll select Table 1, which is the East. When I click OK, it will match all the information in the columns where the headings are the same. And it didn't have a manager in Table 2, so it put null values there. And if we look at the tax column for the East, it didn't have any information there. That column didn't exist, so it put null in those fields. So it brought in all the column headings from the two tables and fills in null if there's no value. So now I can close and load. That gives me another table now with all the information from east and west so I can build a pivot table from this data. So I've got a cell selected. I'll go to insert pivot table and it shows that append one and here's my empty pivot table, so I could put in region, item, units sold, and there's my pivot table showing data from both the east and west, which were on different sheets, and showing the total units sold for each item in each of those regions. And we'll see what happens if I update the information. So in the east we've sold 102 binders. I'm going to go back to the east, and just find one of those binder sales. So here are binders. Three were sold there. I'll change that to 300. And I'll make this column a little wider so our total is quite a bit bigger now as well. Then I'll go to sheet two, which is where that east information was. If I click on this table, it shows me my workbook queries again. And there's a little button at the right side that lets me refresh. So you can just see it right here. When I click that, it will refresh the table. And now I can see the 300 units there. And if I look at the combined data, which is on sheet 3, here's the east. It's still showing 3, so I'd have to refresh this table as well. So this is the append. I'll refresh it. And there are the 300 and the pivot table would have to be refreshed as well. So if I right click on that and refresh, now I'm seeing 300, almost 400 binders sold in the East. 
We'll change something in the West. They have 83 pencils sold. So I'll go to the West and find one of the pencils. So here's a pencil order. That was 29. We'll make that 200. Instead of updating all the sheets separately, I'll see what happens if I do a refresh all. And to do that, I can go to the data tab and there's a refresh all button. So I'll look at sheet one, which has the West information and I'll see if that pencil's changed to 200 and it did. I'll go to sheet three, which has the combined and there's the 200. And I'm gonna go and look at the pivot table. And in here, I'm still seeing 83 pencils. So perhaps this refreshed before the other data, so it's not showing. If I refresh all again, now it's updated to show the correct amount. So you might want to refresh all a couple of times, but once you update either of the source tables, you can do refresh all to roll that change through all of the other information. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.